under suspicion, short mood review. Henry, played by Gene Hackman, has to give a speech at a charity ball. His wife, Chantal, is already there, but he has been pulled into the police station. Mostly there is a favor to his friend, the captain, Victor, played by Morgan Freeman. He, they're joined by Felix, played by Thomas Jane, an aggressive young detective. And, yeah, the, the reason that Henry is there is that the day before he gave a... He, he was questioned because he found the body of the second young girl, just shy of 13, who was strangled. And the, 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 the statement he made does not quite hold up to what his neighbors say and other details. And at, as they probe, he starts getting other things wrong and at times it seems like he doesn't even care about these two victims and honestly you start to maybe hope that they do manage to break him so that this rich and powerful man why why does he deserve all this wealth he's a tax attorney he's not a genius he's not you know what is what did he do to deserve it what did he do to deserve you know, Monica Bellucci for a wife, someone this glamorous. And with with this vial of a crime, yeah, you 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 know, you really hope that jail time at the at the very least. This movie has been fairly negatively rece received and I think part of it is that a lot of people are seeing as negatives what frankly are intended qualities and I would argue positives. It's slow, murky, confusing, unclear, long on talk, short on action, it drags you down. I compare this somewhat to the far superior and more positively received the road which had some of the same criticisms directed at it and yeah these are not always negative qualities and there should this is a bleak minimalist film and it's supposed to pull you down it's supposed to really destroy you and leave you a wreck after the movie is over and yeah if you're not into that then this is not a movie for you and that's not an insult to you or the movie this is a character study. It's set in a single room mostly, and it's basically Gene Hackman and Morgan Freeman going at it. These two Hollywood legends, and you, you can watch it just for the the two of them going at each other. It's magnificent. They deliver absolutely amazing performances, and it has an effectively claustrophobic mood. The direction and editing have been called overproduced MTV style. It it gets across that this is stuff that really gets this kind of gossipy thing going. And, you know, this is both because he's rich and because of these awful crimes. And the movie kind of does to the audience what the story would do to people in real life. So you're right there with them stuck in this little room. So yes, that gets tedious. Of course it does. So does walking around in the post-apocalyptic world, trying to find food, trying to find safety. Yes, it's tense and it's really dangerous, but it's also just so tedious because so long can pass without anything happening, without anything. And yeah, that's really well captured in both of these movies. And gradually, you, you know, your mind changes about these characters, and you really see it's, it gives a very clear de depiction, very clear image of who this man is underneath it all. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, the link is in the description box. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more content.